I'm now 1.3 miles into the walk. I'm walking from Canterbury to Y, W Y E, in Kent, which is exactly 10 miles according to Ordnance Survey. And then from there, we've picked a route that is from Y around, it's a loop, which is approximately eight to 10 miles, which I'm gonna do when I meet up, meet up with the girls. I'm doing this stretch on my own because I think 20 miles is probably too much for two, for a nine year old and 11 year old. I've got to be honest though, this route isn't the best. I've picked it because I thought Canterbury to Y would have been good. It was also in my book of top 100 walks. So far, it's like I may as well have walked on the M25 because I've had a major A road and then a residential estate. Not particularly pretty. I've got another nine miles to go, meet up with the girls, and then we're gonna do eight to 10 miles. Pretty. So this is my first real attempt at a significant walk. I've done a few 10 mile walks. One of them's on the channel. This is 20 miles today. So the challenge today is 20 miles as close to as possible in the hope. It's 56 days now. When you watch this, it will probably be closer to 50. 50 days until Race to the Stones. And in Race to the Stones, it's 67 miles across two days. I thought it was 62, someone told me 67 the other day. 60 plus miles across two days. So the challenge today is 20 miles. When I first attempted 10 miles two months ago, it almost broke me. Scenery's got better. Less, less A road, more, more greenery. Very pretty. Look at that house. One thing I'm not gonna do in this video is tell you about why I'm doing Race to the Stones. I've already made two videos about that purpose of why I'm doing it. So if you haven't done so already, you know, you're more than welcome to go and watch one of my other videos. I'm trying to work out the best settings for this, I've knocked it. So as I can record the time lapse, I'm trying to work out the best settings for these whilst walking. Can I carry this? So I've been vlogging with this now for nearly four miles, three miles. Am I able to do 30 miles in a day with it? So I'm gonna put my neck out on the line and say, this isn't my favorite route. Um, there have been some major main roads I've just had to walk down, which is fine if you pop into the shops. It's also a little bit hilly as well, as you can tell by my red face. So far, are we halfway yet? We are, so far we are 3.8 miles into this walk. And uh, there's not been a lot to report. So it's nice that I'm now on a nice country road. 
very pretty. Thick hedges, I can't really see anything. But it beats a major A road. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've just flown my drone into a field that's covered in barbed wire. So I am gonna try and see if I can get in there. over four miles until I meet the girls and the halfway point of today's journey just had a bit of excitement flying the drone flew it into a bush I say a bush it was a tree and it landed in a farmer's field which was surrounded by about five foot of barbed wire I think I've ripped my t-shirt at the back but I got it back got my drone back somewhere up there is a beehive you can hear them Anyway. We're now at the eight mile mark and some sheep. I would also just like to add that I'm carrying a lot uh, of weight, not just in general. I'm carrying my backpack and I'm trying to carry as much of my camera gear as I can carry today. Just to test over 20 miles or 18 or whatever it ends up being. Just to test how much I can carry because I need to know my limits for Race to the Stones because um, I want to bring as much as I can. I've got my M50 Canon with its external road mic, which is very bulky, and I've got a, a Gorillapod handle. So it's very bulky, but it's very good for vlogging, and I want to do this in Race to the Stones if I can. Obviously, within my capabilities of physically being able to complete it, I don't want to have this stop me from finishing. Um, and I've got a GoPro mount, and obviously all the accessories that come with it, all the chargers and the batteries, etc in the bag and that's not including any of the water food sustenance energy bars whatever it is that you take on these ultra marathons it's quite a lot in there i've got a coat as well i bought a it was a bit chilly when i started um goes to show how many of these i've done that came off quite quick yeah as you can tell i am knackered
that was the nine mile mark that I've just passed. One mile until I meet the girls in Why Are We? And uh, I've got to be honest, I am really struggling now. My feet, my feet don't belong to me. This route is a lot harder um, than I'm used to, than what I've done previously. I obviously haven't challenged myself with harder route, so this is a lot hillier. Um, and the downhills are just as bad as up, because your muscles aren't used to going that way, they're used to going that way, and then you go down and it, anyway, it hurts. One mile until I meet the girls, and then another eight and a half miles. Jesus. Here is generic family member number one, number two, number three, number one, number two, number three, and you're number four. Number four. So now we're off on the Ordnance Survey Trail, which is known as the Wee Crundle Walk. Or Why Crundle? Is it Why or Wee? Tracy, I don't know. Tracy, is it I don't why know. or we? I think why. Why? Why? It's w H Y. No, there's no H. Y there's no H. W Y E. W Y E. In a spooky graveyard. Uh. It should be night time. It'd be good if it's night time because it's like in the room. It'd be good at night. Day. It would be, yeah. Always for a graveyard at night. Yeah, it is. This would be spooky at night, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mad. <sighs> Whose idea was this? Mine. Whose idea? Yours. <sighs> oh, it's so steep. I'm so tired. <sighs> it's so steep. Very fit then. Doing that and then all of a sudden a ball comes through. 
Oh, he's staring at us. Right, keep moving. Look at the size of that ball. That's it. There's one right here. There's a ball. Staring at us. Yeah. Like pick me up, and then I can hold him down. There's a ball, right? Look at the size of it. Oh my <laughs> god! There's a ball right on the other side of that hedge. I've just been reliably informed by Scarlett that I have now done 15.1 miles. Look, now it's 2. 15.2. So we went off the beaten track. We went off the route we were following in hope that we could find a shorter route because it's getting very dark. And we've ended up in dense forest, dense woodland. I shouldn't say forest really, because it's, um, it's Kent. Um, but we've just ended up in dense wood and it's very dark in here. So we are following this green line up very good. to this red yeah. line. So we're, we're shaving off, what, probably half a mile? of this route just by following this route it's getting very dark now yeah it's, just it's really dark because of all these trees covering yeah well it doesn't help the sun's gone down yeah. and then we're under we're under quite um, quite dense canopy relatively dense wood yeah so it is very dark and if it dies we're stuck and we don't know where we're <laughs> now the phone battery will be okay Pitch black. Oh. <laughs> so we are how far away? So we, I reckon we've got two miles back to the car. Yeah. I'd it's so. pitch black. Maddie's having a great time. No, I'm not. Scarlett's having a great time. Yeah, I am. Yeah, about two miles left. Light. <laughs> Light. So I've got my torch on. It is absolutely pitch black. We are now in really thick woodland. Madison's freaking out. Not only is she break. tired, <laughs> but she's well out of her comfort zone. And I'm having a great Scarlet's time. having a great time. Oh yeah, it's here. Yeah. And also, I'm going to turn this off now because I can't do both. That's a really creepy church. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I even said we should go through this graveyard when it's night time. Yeah. 
It's nice though, it's lit up, very pretty. Yeah. So the time now is 10.38 and I am standing under the street lights so you can see me, 10.38 and I have just completed 20 miles. Exactly. exactly. If it will focus, yeah. 20 miles, done. Um, and it's taken me over eight hours. Uh, we had a bit of an incident with the drone, but those first um, moments to camera hours ago, it feels like a, a lifetime ago. My feet don't belong to me. I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, and uh, I am very much looking forward to this night ending. But that is 20 miles completed. High five. Done. Well, I've done 10. You've done 10. Scarly, Maddie, Mummy, they did 10 miles. So well done to them. Thank you. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching if you've made it this far. That's me done. If you'd like to donate, please do so in the description below. But that's 20 miles, the furthest I've ever walked. Um, and it's only uh, two thirds of the way on day one. I'm going to have to do this three times across two days. But and thank you. Thank you. Thank you.